Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to talk about trade process. I'm going to talk about my attempt to start under leveraging uh, or using responsible leverage. Um, as you know, I've been harping on capital preservation, which is still not my strong suit. Um, so, obviously when you're trading the NASDAQ, it's a big contract, it's $20 a point, and the top step, step two, the profit limit for the day is uh, $3,600, and that's 180 points. And I'm not saying it's easy necessarily, but you can pretty well get 180 points of movement if you're playing both sides on the NASDAQ uh, every single day. Um, so I'm going to try a quote unquote one contract challenge. Um, I'm going to see if I can make it work um, focusing on, on one contract. So that's going to be the under, uh, under or responsible leveraging part of the trade process. So the first part of my trading system is going to, is going to be to use responsible leverage. And for a $3,000 daily loss limit, um, I think that one NASDAQ contract is, is reasonable for that. So uh, that's 150 points and on one contract that means that my risk of ruin or my risk of hitting that daily loss limit uh, should be virtually you know, non-existent. So as, as long as I'm hitting a good strike rate. So I'm going to try and do it with one contract. I'm looking for 180 points a day uh, with 150 points of risk. So I'm going to try it on one contract. Uh, obviously every time you add a contract it's twice as much risk, right? So it's a big deal when you go from one NASDAQ contract to two mathematically. So I think I've been missing that. So that's going to be the first part of the of the trade process. Uh, number one is going to be focusing on, on using one contract for my top step account. Because um, I've seen time and time again that yeah, adding on more contracts, uh, even more than one, is probably too much. So uh, I am going to stick with, with one um, because the daily loss limit is always the same. You have 150 points to work with, and yeah, the NASDAQ can pretty easily m move against you 150 points. Um, so uh, I'm going to stick with one contract with top step. Uh, so that's going to be the under leveraging aspect of my trade of my trade um, system. Number two is going to be capital preservation, and so uh, I'm going to try and use reasonable stops that are not too far away, uh, not too close. You know, try and try and catch a balance on that. So first part of, of, of money management is going to be under leveraging, and that's going to be one contract on my top step account at a time. The second part of that money management is going to be um, uh, reasonable stops that are not too close and, and not too far away and obviously I, I will not move them so that's going to be the second part of, of money of money management now let's get on to the third part of the trading system and I'm going to implement what I'm going to call two mandatory drawings at all times on my chart I'm going to have a buy side liquidity line and a sell side liquidity line uh, I'm going to try and not use more than two so just will give me an idea of what price should be doing um, you know where it's going. If I have a buy side liquidity line and a sell side liquidity line, I'm going to call those mandatory drawings. So that will give me an idea of what the draw on liquidity should be. If I have a sell side line on the chart and a buy side line on the chart, um, I can see how price you know is drawing there and whether it gets there, whether it delivers, whether it doesn't deliver, um, and 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 work from there. So. I will have other drawings on the chart sometimes for the PD rays and for uh, standard deviation projections, things like that. But um, I'm always going to have a higher time frame buy side and a higher time frame. So meaning 30 minute or above, hour, one hour above, daily, weekly. I'm going to have a buy side and a sell side line on my chart at all times. And then um, the other charts, uh, the other you know tools that I might put on the chart, although I'm going to try and limit the number of drawings that I'm using. Um, might put on New York Open Midnight, might put on a fair value gap, things like that. So mandatory drawings are going to be one sell side liquidity line and one buy side liquidity line. 
Mandatory money management is going to be one contract at a time. Uh, it's going to be reasonable stops uh, with, with a lot of patience, uh, trying to get there slowly. I realize that I have um, been thinking about top step wrong, and it has cost me some money, but luckily less money than, you know, not that much money, but a few hundred dollars. Um, so my objective really is to have a long-term top step account, right, to make money over time. So sometimes, uh, sometimes the market might not offer you the full profit limit. It might not offer you 180 points. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's going to be pretty choppy. Uh, it's not going to make it to its targets, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be a high resistance liquidity run. Sometimes it'll be clean, you know. But I know that if I ever want to stay trading for, I never want to get to the point where I can't trade. And that's really why I have to implement the money management right now. I, I never want to be at a, be at a position, whether it's top step or my own account, that I cannot trade. So that's why I'm going to implement strict money management now. And I, you know, from a math standpoint, going from one contract to two contracts, you're looking at instead of 150 points of drawdown, you're looking at only 75 NASDAQ points on that daily loss limit. And that, that's a big deal. That's a very big deal. That's a big difference. And y'all might be thinking, well, 75 points, that's a lot. Yeah, but over the course of a day, no, it's not. So we're going to stick with one contract. Um, and then we talked about the mandatory drawings, uh, the draws on liquidity. So buy side liquidity line, sell side liquidity line. And um, we'll have some other drawings on there as well. In terms of video recording my sessions, I don't know how much more of that I'm going to do. Uh, you know, we'll see. Um, I do really want to focus on actually being a day trader and, and um, some of my training sessions might be quite boring to you if there's only one contract on. <laughs> so, but maybe I'll record it anyways. I mean, you can, I don't know, watch me trade one contract if you want. Um, I'm definitely going to stick with making analysis, uh, analysis videos, talking about the market. Um, but in terms of recording the sessions, we'll see because I don't want to just put up a three hour long video of a one contract trade but I have to trade one contract because I have to start being responsible um, and, and really buckling down here uh, if I want to trade professionally uh, I know I have to buckle down there's no there's really no choice um, even two contracts over a daily period you're, you're looking at so much less drawdown so alright uh, we're going to try that um, and, and work with that guy. So that is my current uh, trading system. Um, and I will be around at least for more NASDAQ uh, analyses. I'll talk about the market, market psychology, uh, risk management, that sort of things. And maybe, um, you know, during the live regular trading hours when the market's moving, it would be interesting to watch a video recording of one contract. Um, all right. All right, guys. Bye-bye.